you can't beat it. Like, um, you you can try to counter shaman, and and then you lose to like all the other mid range decks. It's just you just no way around it. Hello and welcome to Hearthstone History. This series, as you might have guessed, is all about highlighting the key points in history in the game of Hearthstone. And tonight, we're gonna tell a story of glorious redemption of how Shaman managed to completely dominate the one night in Karazhan metagame. All right, boys and girls, let's get started. I think that meta is kind of shaping out to be a little bit interesting. It's like mid-range Shaman versus the world. In order to understand how Shaman dominated Karazhan, we first need to look back and understand how Shaman was just before the Karazhan adventure. In the Whispers of the Old Gods metagame, Shamans were never able to completely dominate it because Zulok was such a great counter to both Agua Shaman and Midrange Shaman. And that was because Zulok was so much better at getting early game board control. Even though Shamans had early game cards such as Tunnel Trog, Totem Golem, and the pre-nerfed Tusker Totemic, it still wasn't good enough. Zoo still got on the board faster and they can capitalize even better on having board advantage. Therefore, Shamans needed more early game tools if it ever hoped to compete and beat Zula consistently. Then Blizzard said, ask and ye shall receive. That gives you four spell power. I just turned one Drake into two. And they gave Shamans two game-breaking early game cards that completely eliminated the early game weakness. And those cards were Spirit Claws and Maelstrom Portal. And with most OP cards, some people did see the power coming. Spirit Claws, that's a one mana 3-3 three, three weapon. Wow. I'm not even being that sarcastic about it. This has a great potential to be a huge breakout card of the set. Uh, four to five though, I, just, I think this is a very strong card. And some people didn't. Probably won't see too much constructive play, if any, but a nice little arena card there. Uh, I feel like with Lightning Storm, this card will not see play. And with Elemental Destruction, too. Uh, it's just, you can't run that many small damage AoE cards. With the addition of Spirit Claws and Maelstrom Portal, Shamans were actually now favored against Zulok because of Wrath of Air Totem plus Spirit Claws made Goldon cry and Wrath of Air Totem plus Maelstrom Portal <laughs> it just made him question his existence they were so damn OP against Zulok it was, it was actually pretty crazy but, 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 but <laughs> this only held true if you were playing Midwin Shaman because Agro Shaman was still unfavored against Zulok and because of this people started to play more and more mid-range shaman and eventually it became the shaman deck of choice therefore shamans had two tier one decks midway shaman and agro shaman however it was still not completely dominating because decks such as control warrior dragon warrior and temple mage were both favorable against agro shaman but then ladies and gentlemen <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, patch 6.1.3 happened and everything changed. <laughs> I know I'm being dramatic, but damn, everything did change. We did it. We, we finally made them kind of change the things that they said they weren't going to change. And uh, hopefully that makes for a better game and not a worse game. A big I told you so from Blizzard would kind of suck. Patch 6.1.3 was the patch to finally nerf Shaman. Rock Battle Weapon moved from a 1 mana card to a 2 mana card. Tuska Totemic! Instead of summoning any totem, it now only summons the basic totems. And Abusive Sergeant got some abuse himself, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Instead of being a 2-1, it was now a 1-1. So you would think, you would think any rational man, woman, and even animal would think Shaman has got nerfed. <laughs> you would think so, but my man Reynard said it best. I think Shaman is stronger after the nerf. They hurt every single class in the game that could compete with it, kind of. They hurt, they hurt Hunter, they hurt Warrior, 
they they hurt uh, Warrior in a different way. They hurt Zoo. They nerfed Yogg-Saron. That, that nerfs Tempo Mage. That nerfs Control Warrior because those are starting to run Yogg. And they nerfed, um, most importantly, Yogg Druid. So every single deck that is in within, within the top five that could compete with Shaman took like a big nerf, like a really big nerf. Here's some notes from the October 10th, 2016 Tempo Storm Meta Snapshot. Behold, these nerfs have inadvertently made Shaman stronger than ever. Even though Rock Battle Weapon and Tasker Totemic saw big nerfs, nerfs to other cards, such as Execute now being a 2 mana card instead of 1 mana, Core of the Wild being a now a 9 mana card instead of 8 mana, and Yoxeron stopping all spells when it, when it leaves the field, and nerfs to other classes ended up making Shaman even better. The gap between Midway Shaman and all other decks has grown so wide that Midway Shaman sits alone at tier 1. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the only thing that patch 6.1.3 nerfed were the other 8 classes. Here's what Vicious Syndicate said in the 23rd Data Reaper report. We generally try to stay positive and provide answers to the current meta. We are out of answers when it comes to mid-range shaman. This is a very, very difficult archetype to target. While some individuals may possess the ability to overcome the inherent disadvantage when it comes to playing against shamans, the meta as a whole appears to be incapable of correcting itself. Our albeit limited data suggests that people are playing less Hearthstone or even quitting the game altogether. Damn! <laughs> now didn't that sound bloody positive? Uh, I think they strongly might even need another balance patch before the next expansion, which is actually crazy that it would need two balance patches for one class. But at the, I, I think at this rate, it's like the game is kind of feels very unhealthy. Thus, for the next two months, shamans reign supreme. No one could touch our great shaman overlords until the expansion of the mean streets of Gadgetzan. And this ends our tale of Shaman Stone, Heroes of Totem Craft. Thank you for making it to the end of the episode. If you enjoyed, please think about subscribing. It would really do a whole bunch for the channel. Also, because this is a new series, I would really love to get your feedback. So for this episode, can I get your feedback on these three things? One, what did you like about this episode? Two, what you didn't like about this episode? And three, how could this series be improved? Again, it's a new series and if you're a long term lurker, please comment. Just let me know your opinion. Even just saying I liked it is good enough. Just I need some feedback. Again, I'll reply and respond to every comment. Thank you again, people. Stay awesome, stay powerful, and always <laughs> stay passionate. Whoa, whoa, relax. Sit back down, you have another video to watch. I need you to join the hero team. If you don't know what I'm talking about, click the video on your right and find out. Seriously, I need you for the hero team. <laughs> See you on the other side.